Hello, this is Herotlinia, and welcome to the third video in my Dragon Quest IV playthrough. And here we're resuming our quest as Ragnar and Bonnie Berlintone, and we're actually going to get started looking for those missing children. If you spot any suspicious bodies lurking about, bring them to the castle at once. All right, Kingy. Here in our first battle, we'll face a Scissor Beetle and a Wiggly. Such vanilla enemies. Ragnar should take them out pretty quickly. One damage. Anyway, another battle, more scissor beetles. Bye bye. Bye bye. More experience and more gold. Gold to go back to town for that hardwood headwear. Nothing more fashionable than a wooden hat, eh? Thanks for that. Nope, oh, we'll see you later. Now we head off northwest, because there is a cave there that leads to the northern area. And you scissor beetles are so dead. That didn't get ya. This one will. Explore this area to fill it in on the upper map. Hello, slimy. Goodbye, slimy. Bye bye, Wiggly. And Ragnar gets a level up. Now level two. Nice boost to strength there. Yep, now let's check out the Strathvale Burrow. Over here to the east, we find a treasure chest with a medicinal herb. Dagnabbit, another battle. Here we have an air rat. And of course a wiggly. Flying rats are tough, aren't they? Goodbye. Who's this soldier up here? Ah, oh, it's you, Ragnar. Are you on your way to Strathbale too? Yeah, you're stuck in this cave, aren't you? Another slime and an air rat. Goodbye, slime. Okay. 
Goodbye, air rat. Anyway, in the northwest here, we find another treasure chest with 40 gold coins. That's nice. Here's the exit in the north. That's that tower in the middle of the lake that people were talking about. The town over there is Strathbale. And we have more Wigglies to deal with. Someone's got to do something about these giant worms. I guess it'll have to be Ragnar. Bye, Wiggly. What's this sign say? No playing in the woods. What's wrong with these woods, huh? Wander around and wait for nightfall. Goodbye, Wiggly. Goodbye, Air Rat. And Ragnar gets another level up. Level 3. And some more gold. And here's the town of Strathbale. Well, hello there, soldier. Welcome to Strathbale. Thank you. One of these barrels contains three gold coins. Ragnar's getting rich. The item shop has... a few basic items. Hello, ma'am. Good to see you here, soldier. Well, it was like the bairn just disappeared right afore my eyes. That's strange. The fella down in the jail says he used to live in Berlin. So someone's in jail here, huh? We get a twinkling point in the ground in the well. And it's 25 gold. <laughs> Behind the equipment shops we get some more coins from a pot. Well, if it isn't Ragnar McRyan, so you finally made it to Strathbale, eh? I'm afraid I've no more information on the whereabouts of those wee kiddies. I'm wondering if that tour to the west has something to do with at all, but I didn't hear the first clue how to get inside. That's in the middle of a lake. Can't exactly swim over there in this heavy armor. Some decent equipment at the armor, sh or the weapon shop. Some not too shabby equipment at the armor shop too. As I said, I won't be grinding for it in this chapter. And a medicinal herb and a pot behind the church. Always pays to break stuff in this game. And down in the jail, we find a barrel with a medicinal herb. There's somebody in jail. Who are ye? Can you let me out of here? I only took the bread because I was hungry. Let me out. Where? Oh, oh sorry. My name is Angus. Oh, hello, Angus. We know someone who's looking for you. And who's in this house? The pot is empty. The fella down in the jail was caught stealing bread, but his memory's gone and he can't mind a thing about it. He must have had something terrifying happen to him to be reduced to back to be talking like a kid like that. Oh, what happened to him, I wonder? Hello, sir. There's a cheeky wee beggar who's always footing around outside at night. 
Next time I see him, I'm gonna ask just what he thinks he's up to. Hmm. Those barrels are empty. Hmm. Looks like a peeping Tom point. And here in the inn, we have a nun in the bedroom. Nothing in the wardrobe. I'm a traveling nun. I journey around the world to spread the word of the goddess. I'm sure the children who went missing will hear her voice in the end and be guided back to safety. We can only hope so. And we find some plain clothes in the chest of drawers here. Pretty useless. Do you ken that I'm the one who caught that laddie stealing the bread? He's behind bars doing in the jail now, but he's no sh showing a scrap of remorse. He's even got the cheek to be pretending he's a kid and asking to be let out. This guy is a bit doubtful. Here's a kitty upstairs. Hello, kitty. I'm examining the fireplace. Okay. This is Strathvale School. The innkeeper's son, Wee Willy Wally, was a pupil here before he disappeared. Well, better ask around. This girl is running around. You can I catch me? You can I catch me? Wait! Just wait, will ya? James, can someone no stop that lass from fluttering about? And in these wardrobes, we can find another medicinal herb. Pretty nice for Ragnar. Hello. It's good that you came, soldier, but we're in the middle of a session right now. Come back tonight and we can gab away as much as you like then. Alright, Mr. Teacher. Wished, how am I supposed to study with all these distractions? Disappearing children? Do you mean Willy Wally from the inn? I know him alright. He became an angel and flew away in the sky. It's true. You're from the castle in Berlin. I think you're amazing. When I grow up, I'm going to be a palace guard just like you. Oh, good luck, kid. Uh, pictures by the children on the wall. Couple of bookcases back here. Nothing interesting on that one. Ah, the headmaster's diary, huh? Let's see what the headmaster has to say. Those kiddies don't listen to a word I say. The wee rascals have been sneaking out of the village and getting up to all sorts of mischief. Have they been playing in those woods, I wonder? In the back of the item shop. Nothing in the barrel and nothing in the wardrobes. Let's see what the shopkeeper has to say. You've got to help us. Are we kitty? Are we laddies gone missing? Who can be doing this? I can't understand who anyone would want to take our kitties away. We'll find them for you, sir. Another bookshelf up here. Nothing interesting on that one. Ah, uh, the household's account book. They seem to be very poor, though. Ragnar gazes into the mirror and makes a funny face. Nobody is watching, but he still ends up feeling a bit stupid. Ah, well, it's about all we can do during the daytime. Let's wander around and wait for night to fall. Not quite fallen yet. There we go. Hi, it's a real puzzler, this one. Who can kitties just disappear into thin air? Yeah, that's a 
bit interesting. Have to find out how they're doing that. Aye, this is a bonny wee bath and no mistake. I know I cleaned it with my own hands. Ah, nice, sir. Hello, nun. I'm a traveling nun. I'm about to have a bath, so I'd be grateful if you could make yourself scarce. Hello, ma'am. This probably will not help you at all, but... Well, it was like the... Oh, I just talked to you during the daytime. And who's this peeping Tom in the back, huh? What? You know I've been peeking in at the bath? Yes, get lost. Um, I tell you what, keep it to yourself and I'll let you in on a secret. The thing is, I've seen that man who's in jail afore, over in Berlin Tune, if I mind rightly. Once you had a wee chat wi him, you should head back over to Berlin and see if you can I learn a thing or two there. No. Go back down and talk with him um, in a minute. The fella done in the jail was caught stealing bread. Yep, we've talked to you before. Have to wonder just what happened to him. Let's play again the morn, Angus. So let's go back down to the jail and talk to this guy. Aye, that's right, I'm Angus. So who do you know my name? Ha ha ha, ooh. Monsters! Monsters are coming! Help! I must have been scared witless by those monsters. Hick, you can I bait a wee dram while you're looking up at the stars? That fellow who stole the bread was having a good time of it chatting away to the kiddies afore he was caught. Yeah, if you're talking about stealing something loudly enough, You'll get found out. <laughs> Who's this in the schoolyard? The man doing in the jail is called Angus. He's our friend. Here's the headmaster. Hello, soldier. We were just discussing the whole sorry situation. I can't help but think that the bairns are hiding something between themselves. The teacher says, not to worry, no. Kitties always hear their secrets. It's only natural, wouldn't you say, soldier? Uh, yep. Willy Wally and my brother are being punished for disobeying my pa. Pa told them not to go play an outside the village, but they didn't ever listen. So they have been playing around outside the village. My laddie's one of the ones that went missing. Who's doing this to us? I can I understand what anyone would want with our bairns. Yeah, that's pretty curious. Why would someone go around stealing or kidnapping a bunch of children? Hello, Windkeeper. I want to rest here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now that we've learned that the jailbird here is Angus, the next thing to do is go back to Berlin town and report to his wife Agnes back through Strathbale Borrow. Hello, Scissor Beetle and Slime. We'll sort you out quickly enough. Bye bye, enemies. Challenging us alone, eh, Slime? We'll see about that. I'm 
just going to wander around now until night falls. Another slime and scissor beetle. Goodbye. Treasure chest, another medicinal herb. Pretty nice when these things go down in one hit like that. Put these excess things in the bag. That's another nice thing about this remake, they gave the player a bag to Put excess inventory in. Bye bye, slime. Back in Bonnie Berlin Tune, the lady of the house has been waiting an awful long time for her husband to come home. Ah, poor girl. Another man here? Ah, oh, how much longer is she going to wait? How can I understand why she won't just give up on the old bomb pot? Oh no, Angus has been locked up in Strathbale Jail for stealing, you say? That's just terrible. I can't I believe he'd do a thing like that. Can you take me to him? I really need your help here. Sure, we'll take you to him. Make sure you don't get gooed by all the slimes on the way. Wait, do I have any clues about who's taking the kitties away? So you're another stupid nyaf, are ya? No, I'm not. Uh, so... These guys don't have a home, I see. Poor guys. So you've shut up your shop for the night. Oh, I need a wee wee wee, but I'm too scared to go out on my own. Mommy's snoring away. I can't help feeling that the monsters have been getting a wee bit stronger of late. Well, they're not all that strong now, but just wait till later. Hello, soldier. Ah, oh, so the king has retired for the night. So the king has had a stramish of a day. Yep, we know it's Bonnie Berland Castle. Yep, the king's retired for the evening. Time for a wee bit of shut-eye. 
Losh, it's a tiring old business standing guard of a castle. <laughs> Gads, it's a monster! Help, I do not want to die! Don't fall asleep on duty again, sir. Oh, looks like I must have been dreaming. Back to sleep he goes. Yep, we're doing what we can, ma'am. The more I look into it, the more it seems to be the same. This funny weather we've been having is just like back when the monsters were on the rampage. <laughs> so let's go take Agnes to see her hubby over in Strathbale. Will she help us in battle? Nope. Got a couple of bubble slimes here. They can poison you, so be careful of that. Goodbye, bubble slime. See you next slime. Back through Strathvale Borrow again. Goodbye, enemies. And here we are back in Strathbale. Just go straight to the jail. And Agnes. Angus, so you are here. Who are you? What do you mean? Do you know Ken who I am, Mangy? I'm your wife, Agnes. Maybe your own wedding ring will jog your memory, eh? Remember how much this little beauty cost you? Ah! It's ye, Agnes. That's right, it's me. I didn't ken what came over me. I was attacked by monsters and I was so scared that I went back to being a bairn. Thanks for all your help, soldier. Come to think of it, I think I heard something curious from those wee lads and lassies. What is it? There was talk about a kiddies playground in the forest to the southeast of town. Ah, so they have been playing in the forest. You may well find a clue if you gay and hair look around there. I'd be away if I were ye. Be canny out there, soldier. All right. And you're welcome. Yep, we'll go check out this forest playground pretty soon. First, though, we're gonna rest up a little. <laughs> then we'll save at the church. Along to the next level, 16 experience points.
I'd like to thank you for watching. This is Herot Linea, and I will see you in the next video of the Dragon Quest IV playthrough.